Hi, welcome back. This in this lesson, we're going to cover the chords in the key of A. So we've got seven chords. We got an A as the one chord, A major, B minor is the two chord, C sharp minor is the three chord, D is the four chord, E is the five chord. F sharp minor is the sixth chord. G sharp diminished is the seven chord. Now I could do that this way. It does sound a little bit kind of, these low notes just get a little muddy in that register. You know, where it's, it's just sort of hard to articulate the notes. They don't speak as clearly as if they're on higher strings, so. Uh, this one is a nice substitute for that. It's called a G minor 7 flat 5 or a G half diminished 7 chord. So uh, basically if you take a B minor chord, which was our 2 chord, and I change my bass note to a G sharp note. Now that's a little awkward to grab, so I'm going to change some fingers around too. So I take these three notes of my B minor chord. This is fret 4, string 4, fret 4, string 3, fret 3, string 2. And I'm going to play like that A minor chord shape, just moved up two frets like that. <clears throat> All right. So this actually, so I build it from the sixth string. This is fret four on the low E with my second finger. Fret four on the D string with my third finger. Fret four on the G with my pinky, fourth finger. Fret three with my first finger here. So that is a G sharp minor seven flat five chord. Or I can do an A, or sorry, an E seven. Or this E seven, I'll show this one. And both of those act as a dominant sound which wanna go back to A. So if I play an E seven chord, the chord I wanna hear after it is A. If I play a G-sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord, the chord I want to hear after that is A. So they both resolve the same way. And I will include chord charts at the end of the lesson so that you can uh, look those up if, if you didn't get all of that. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.